Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of one variable equations and inequalities, specifically how we could write those from a word problem, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a simple problem over here on the left side of the screen. There were P puppies at the pet store, so this is going to be my unknown right here, this P. It's going to represent the number of puppies at the pet store. 14 more puppies arrived, now the total is 50 puppies. How many puppies were there to start with? So this is asking for that P, that unknown. Well, let's see if we can write a very simple equation. There were P puppies at the pet store. So I'm just going to start that at the beginning of my equation. Then 14 more puppies arrived. So we know our number is 14. Now let's think about what operation is going to join those two. 14 more puppies arrived. It seems like it's a very simple addition. And then now the total, so that lets me know we're about to get to the other side of the equation. It's going to be balanced with a 50. Because this equal sign is going to act like a balance. Because we're going to need to use the subtraction property of equality to figure out what P is. What that means is that you can subtract the same number from both sides of the equation. And you can keep the equation balanced. Right now we have P plus 14 equals 50. I need to get this P by itself. So what I could do is I could subtract 14 from both sides of the equation. And if I do plus 14 minus 14, look at that. That's going to cancel each other out. I'm just going to get a P. So now I just need to do 50 minus 14, and that is going to be 36. So I think my answer is 36. The easiest way to check it out is just to plug it back into my equation to make sure it works. 36, which is what the P is, add that to 14. Does that make 50? Yes, it does. Let's look at another example. So here's our next problem. Carla wants to walk at least 16 miles to break in her new hiking shoes, and she walks at a rate of 3 miles per hour. She needs to write it. We need to write an inequality, so that's going to be using a greater than or a less than sign to show how many hours H she needs to walk to break in her shoes. Well, let's see what her goal is. Her goal is at least 16. She can walk more than 16, but she just can't walk less than 16. And she walks at a rate of 3 miles per hour. So we're going to write it like this. 3 miles times H. So if she walks 1 hour, then she will have gone 3 miles. If she has walked 2 hours, she'll have gone 6 miles, 3 hours, 9 miles, so on and so forth. So we just need this 3H to be greater than, or it can be equal to, 16. As long as her distance is greater than or equal to 16, she's good. She can go over, she just can't go under. So in this case, we are going to use the division property of equality, and we're going to divide both sides of our inequality, not an equation, by 3. And if we can divide 3 over 3, well, that's going to get us our h on its own. And then I'm going to take this 16 over 3. I'm just going to make it a mixed number, 5 and a third. So as long as she walks equal to or greater than 5 and 1 thirds hour, or that's going to be 5 hours and 20 minutes, she'll have hit her goal of 16 miles. Here's our final problem. Jeremy's dad gave him $40 to spend at the movies. He spent $11 for the ticket. Write an inequality that shows how much he can spend S on snacks and drinks. Go ahead and pause the video. Take a few moments, try to write your inequality, and then start the video back up and we'll check our work. Hopefully you did something like this. You have $11. That's what he's going to have to spend just to get into the movies. And then the rest of it, S, that's going to be for his snacks and his drinks. And both of those together, we're going to add those, have to be less than, or I guess they could be equal to 40, because that is the total his dad gave him. So if you want to use the subtraction property of equality, we can go ahead and subtract 11 from both sides. And that means he has less than or equal to $29 to spend on snacks and drinks.